I want to first of all thank you for this invite. Um, to, be, to be honest, I've specially come all the way from Pondicherry for this. Uh, and because I valued this. And uh, the enticing thing is the title of this event, Inspiration. I think that's what we all are product of, I believe. Let me know when 20 minutes are done, okay? Then I can do a wind up. You know what? I believe, I believe we are outsourcing education a little too much from homes. This is my opening statement. I also will come to the second part of Mr. Saroop, is how do we have more people like him who communicate, who travel, who go to the field, learn for themselves, unlearn and learn. I'm going to come to that second part. But the first part needs to be addressed before I answer the second. Since I'm directly grappling with and dealing with administration right now, therefore I have literally latest experience as of yesterday of what, how we are administering through individuals, students, whom we passed out, who've come out of some wonderful institutions, the IMMs of the day. So for me, I think we're outsourcing a little too much. And the homes are saying that since because we pay a very heavy fee to the schools, therefore the teachers should take care. But I think it's the home which is the first learning creators of these innovative, innovative ideas. If you go back now, since Anil told you about his story, I'm also a product of my home first. School was an extension. School gave me extracurricular activities, which home didn't. My home gave me sports. My home gave me tennis. My home gave me competitive tennis because father was a great tennis player of his time. So I got sports from home, which was tennis. So, but school gave me more. It gave me basketball. It gave me athletics. It gave me debates. It gave me declamations. It gave me punctuality. It gave me cleanliness. Cleanliness also came from home, but it reinforced. To my mind, the schools are reinforcers, but it also prepares you for a professional degree or for a career because you need the certificate. It teaches you mathematics, which my mother did not know much. But language came from home. Values came from home. Character, respect for elders came from home. Patriotism came from home, not the school. I sang the national anthem all the time, which reinforced but I wouldn't sing national anthem at home when I would get up in the morning. So my inspiration, if I would go back, I think first of all, we must re-re-engineer this. Schools must step in as an extension of home, please. Homes must get to realize as parents that you're bringing up children for God's sake, do your duty as mother and father. And, I, and I'm angry about that. Parents are not fulfilling the responsibility of educating their children. Nurturing the children. We are paying for the school fee. We're paying for the food. We're paying for uniform. We're paying for shoes. We're paying for everything. We're paying for transport. What the hell are the mother and fathers doing? Who brought up, who gave birth to these children? I won't mention where am I getting this learning from because that will become the headline of today. <laughs> but I see the state's turning gradually into a welfare provider where the father is an alcoholic and the mother is poor woman struggling to keep her family. And that's a large percentage of us children who coming from homes where the father is absent and the mother is working and the children are left on their own when they go home and they don't know where to get their homework done from. I think that's the bulk of India. What's going wrong here? And I think what, I do not know. I don't have the answer. How do we bring parenting responsibility back? Since I said, I'm a product of the home. And I saw a comparison between my parents and other brothers, siblings, how they were grooming. We were sent to the best school, not the cheaper school or a free school a school which will give me a midday meal, but went to the best school where my parents sacrificed their pocket monies when they were employed by their, by their own fathers. Friends, the first message to this, from this conference, which I like to say from my personal experiences, I think many of those people you today, today we look up to, we look up to. 
are probably products of their own homes. Homes which fathers and mothers both played a role. Fathers nurturing daughters to be brave and courageous, and mothers sensing, uh, driving a sense of responsibility into their boys. Because boys are what their mothers want them to be. And girls are what their fathers want them to be. Am I right? Absolutely. My father wanted to be who I am, and mother wanted me to be a very, very strong lover of education. Courage was the main thing. Are we instilling, who instills courage into, who inspires courage into the youth today? Who? When you're already 12th standard pass, or you're already 9th standard? No, it's the parents who nurture. And they experiment, they make them experiment, make them travel, make them see, make them read, make them learn, make them share, make them give, teach them value systems. By the time you people get, and then how many hours do you, as, so you are an extension, but you're also a filler of vacuum. That's where your role comes in. Fortunately, my teachers didn't have to fill in a vacuum for me, because I was already overflowing with what I was privileged with or gifted with, because children don't choose parents. We don't choose our parents, we just get them. We also don't choose our schools, we just get them. And we don't choose our teachers, we just get them. But the point is, if the parents have fulfilled their responsibility, it makes it easy for the school to reinforce. But then, what are you reinforcing as, as school children, teachers? You're reinforcing all that I've told you about. But are we getting individualized? Are we looking at those back benches? Are we looking at those who are not getting 100%? Are we put bringing them first forward, saying, Tum aage beto. Both, beach mein beto. So change the seats of the chair, students every time. Change the seats. So everybody gets a, ch ch a turn to sit, uh, sit ahead. Not front benches remain front, and the side one. Change the seats. Aaj kaun sa Aaj, as you come, you sit. That means I can see somebody directly, and I can see somebody, somebody as a distance. That's where an extension. The school is an extension of the home. And the home continues to be extension of the school. I think this link is getting weakened by the day. This is what I wanted to say, that wherever we need to go back to mother tongue, go back to languages. It, the child, we all learn the language and the way we speak, the words we use. The words we use, the idioms we have, I think it all comes back. That's my first. Now I would like to come back to the second part. How do we have more officers? Because your question here is, how, what, who are the change makers? These are the change makers. But ask, where did they come from? Did the university groom them? Yes, they qualified. They prepared them with the knowledge. But the character was built at home. So when you are going bottomless, but you have a degree, so schools and universities are prepare, preparing the professionals. Where are the persons? The persons who are entering the, academy, uh, the academies are very different from the professionals. It is they who travel. It is they who sensitive, are sensitive. It is they who connect with the common man. It is they who look went, wanting, to, wanting to learn. I think one policy change, now I'm on the second part of my presentation. One policy change which government of India needs to do is what he did. Compulsorily move officers onto the ground and go and see and learn for yourself. They don't go on the ground. We are so heavily air conditioned today that we don't want to go into rain or shine or the, or the dust and the grime. Imagine all municipal commissioners every day walk the streets. Imagine. Imagine. If every collector walks the street, imagine. If every secretary travels the way he did, imagine. Imagine. Will there be any, any garbage on the go? When the collectors travel, will there be any nuisance? When the superintendents of police walk the streets, walk the streets, drive the streets, not just zoom zoom with pilot, not with the pilot car, but maybe bike, maybe go biking, go cycling, go on a scooter with a helmet. Why not? So if the collectors of the day, the superintendents of the, of the day, the uh, municipal commissioners of the day, just these three ranks, and if the chief secretaries of the day, if the chief secretaries of the day, if they go office to office, if they go office to office, they go town to town, they go to city to city, and stay back. Stay back, maybe stay in a, in a farmer's house, 
not just in the air conditioned circuit house stay where stay where the tent is i think that is where only today the administrative academy is investing hugely whether it's a police academy whether it's the administrative academy and the all other services hugely into 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 making them uh, knowledgeable but the person is already hardwired softwired hardwired so hardwiring ko unwire karna impossible impossible very difficult unless you threaten them you say nahi karoge to performance appraisal mein likh denge to usse dil to hai nahi wahan aapka na dil hai wahan dimag hai aap to bhag jaoge wahan se so my see all our water rich issues are are absolutely human failures because we the bureaucrats we the civil servants we the government has been approving under some political pressure or the other other approving these colonies which came and the water bodies went away and now we are recovering water bodies but who is suffering in the process you and i have bought mineral water it's the poor who doesn't and poor who gets carcinogenic water and then goes all the bills for the health health um, health bills so friends if we this country this country has to change and get real great to me this to, to me the clear inspiration is your own prime minister today if i get tired at any time i start looking at the television oh my god look he's gone to new york he's gone to houston look his minute to minute program look at his minute to minute program i'm not being political right now look at a person look at his minute to minute program of how much he's doing he's moving across sections of society with with every minute hour with different different forums he's indefatigable where is he getting stamina from because he nurtured himself he he is not a product of his mother father but he's a self a uh, self trained man his mother was also working but look what he did i think we don't need a bigger real role model please you can edit this portion because i'm adulating my prime minister who gave me my job you can edit this portion but if i'm looking for inspiration individuals why should i look at anybody else when i have right man right here somebody who's speaking to us every day on the television and inspiring us i don't need to look and what does he need he needs people like him he needs people who would be on the ground every day he needs collectors municipal commissioners superintendents of police the key three key health secretaries dms the health minister all of them and the secretaries to travel i would love to see government of india's secretaries visit more and more pondicherry because that's the only pressure it works that's a pressure which works because pondicherry is union territory and when a when a housing secretary recently durga prasad came and he showed us the mirror saying look you've got so much money from government of india on housing but the where has it been spent so what am i coming to is people persons youth individuals where are they going to come from they got to come from homes my friends they will come from uh, uh, trained by parents and uh, fathers and mothers who have invested into the child and the child also says you gave me everything not that government gave me food government gave me uniform government gave me books the fees was paid for and transport was free for the mother what have you done for me what have you done for me children will ask this generation who's getting everything free but it's okay to give free i'm fine because some do need this very large population of this country does need this and we are providing some very high quality education in several government schools if we hadn't done that the children would have been dropped out and the rte brought 100% enrollment into this which is laudable for this country that we've tried to make every child go to school but the school doesn't become an extension of home and the home is missing what is the kind of population we are getting i think that's the real challenge and secondly from privileged schools if we are only going to be hedonistic students hedonistic it's only saying which corporate are you joining and how much money and what placement are you getting not what are you going to contribute to this nation we will not get the civil the bureaucracy the administration the corporate leaders the business the teachers the professionals the entrepreneurs of men and women of strong foundation and at the moment every person matters you change a find a good person the whole organization changes 
the whole organizer i've seen what a relief i've had in recent changes some of them in in pondicherry when i got a, some changes without mentioning any department what a relief oof and what a massive challenge it was when you had the wrong person at the right place who did he where did he come from he she he or she come from came from some university some institution some school and some home i think all levels did fail because he is he is it's too difficult to change so if we're looking for real change friends and we're looking for education please continue to include schools your ptas is need not be symbolic go home visiting have a dinner with your children uh, children at their homes meet their parents see their siblings spend time teachers should be assessed in how many times did they visit their children in in their homes and how much uh, personally do they know their own children and if any one of them is facing a home challenge and many of the children face home challenge of different kinds you will have eccentric or inadequate or vulnerable children when they grow up to be professionals and professionals will spend millions of dollars thousands of rupees in teaching them soft skills and to be better leaders whereas home is the place where leadership grows leadership with character leadership with personality is developed leadership with awareness leadership with team building all the values which we discipline punk all these things come begin from home if the home is absent you may try your level best you will get marks 100% but not in life there'll be failures or vulnerable or not as successful as you'd want to be we are here to contribute the best the the energized the uh, the good character people value based youth educated which is raring to give raring to serve raring to contribute raring to change raring to transform raring to connect with people raring to clean up the systems raring to be brave oh i've used the word brave that's the big weakest link in our administration is courageous and all levels i'm not talking of the all india civil services right now i'm talking of down the line services where they don't even have training institutions uh, so far the other day i without mentioning again a department somebody came and somebody told some um, an officer there was a strike in a, in my pondicherry there was a strike and i asked him strike kyu hua bole tan because we didn't have the money to pay why did you have money to pay you had the money he said ma'am i had the money to pay but i was told by so and so instead of paying the money buy this buy this i'm not even mentioning buy what because you can't narrow down the department which i'm talking about so instead of saying paise tankha de do he was told buy this and he said yes sir he said yes sir and he told me also i said you buy this when you first have to pay the way he said yes madam so i said you saying yes me you saying yes sir so where is your and he's an honest man so point is you have all these values of honesty integrity but you don't have courage all this remains with you unless you have the courage to say no and what's your problem in government service whichever rank you're there for next 35 or till you retire you're there but you don't have the courage to say no sir i have to pay my salary first sir i cannot buy what you want me to buy i checked with him i said so i do you know what happened in my office i told him bolo sir i have to pay the salary first say yes sir i will say i sir i have to pay the salary first i made him rehearse with me he is a senior officer a very high rank of a service not particular service let's forget that but my problem my challenge friends is how many courageous boys and girls do we produce professionals we produce whether they're in the corporate sector whether they're in the gov government sector whether they uh, any profession they have the courage to say yes and they have the courage to say no to me to my mind one quality and that one quality of courage i got from my home i got it from my father and i got it from my mother my teachers only admired it my teachers only appreciated it and said well done they patted me on my back saying you you're on track they confirmed that what my parents taught me friends teach courage to the youth courage which will then whatever values you're training they will have the courage to put those values into practice without courage and remaining afraid 
all these values which you are will remain dormant because they don't have the courage to stand up to say this is not the right thing sir i have to do this and I, but my friends every person in your class is going to be somebody remember that every person who how is he going to contribute how is he going to perform how is he going to transform how is he going to correct how is he going to be personally managing himself how aware is he is he capable of making choices what kind of homes he has this is also the responsibility of the department of education while the teachers have a responsibility the way my parents did and i never knew at the age of 10 12 what was i growing up for all i knew was i was growing up to be on my feet on my legs and i'll never say mujhe kuch chahiye never say mujhe de do kuch never i would be in a position to say main aapko de sakti hu this was my spirit of when i was growing up at the age of 10 that mujhe kisi se kuch mangna nahi because i was a girl at that time and i saw around women asking and i said oh god i'm getting goose pimples telling you this and i said you mean to say i'm going to be growing up to somebody giving me something never daddy never mummy then they say then they say nahi lena na to khub padho khub like bano khub khelo khub exercise karo jaldi utho subah se aur kaam karo i had determined myself at the age of ever since i got my consciousness as a woman i may get married i love to have a partner in my life but i'll never ever ask me what are you going to give me i'm going to let him say this is for you all the time and friends all along in all my life it's a fact i never asked my husband or my in-laws for anything when they got me when i got married whatever jewelry my mother in law gave out of inheritance i gave it back to her the next day saying ma this has no place in my cupboard please keep it because i i will just probably lose pass it on to somebody else because this is of value to others my value is already within me in my genes so friends that i think is the real message is teaching them courage parenting and educating if we get that right every person you will educate in the class will be a transformer new india will not come without this next generation the current generation is already hardwired poor pressure of the prime minister works and doesn't work his conferences the chief secretary's conferences the cabinet secretary's conferences the home secretary's conferences and the secretaries of government of india's conferences drive the change but i see many times the heart and soul is not in that change your figures may be met but transformation at the grassroots level has still to happen in the manner in which the kind of money which is being invested into the grassroots level so the ball is back in our court how we groom and educate at home and how we groom and educate in school college or universities thank you very much